At the time of which this is being filmed, it is Wednesday, which means it is comic book day. So if you guys remember, a few weeks ago I posted a video about going uh, completely digital and specifically about the pros and cons of doing such a thing with comic books. Yeah, that didn't last very long. This is Scott Glidden. What's up? He's a good friend, close, wonderful friend, and we buy comic books together. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. What do we buy? What'd you get, Scott? Show me. Number one. Saga. Why? Because it's crazy. It's a space opera epic redneck, which is a really goofy vampire family story. It's the family tale. Not for the family, but about a family. It's got this really old grandpa. Spoiler alert. Then Southern Bastards. It is a great. I read Southern Bastards Southern because of Scott, and I fucking ride. Love nowhere. Southern Fried Nowhere. What is that word? Nowhere. Nowhere. N O I R. Noir. 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 Whatever. That's how you pronounce it. Nowhere. It's Story. gonna kick you in the teeth. It is. It's brutal, gritty. The art's amazing. Seven to Eternity. I don't think, it's, is a, it's a sci-fi one. I told you to pick it up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is the, I actually bought this, but I haven't read it yet. Yeah, this is actually about Digital. another family story. All right, so great story. So, I uh, remember when I was saying I was going digital? They lasted long. Why? I broke oh, my. Uh, so I broke my phone. What? While I was pooping. Let's start with the pros. One, pooping. That not hilarious enough there. Poetic justice. You wouldn't believe it, but I also picked up Southern Bastards. Uh, and then Black Hammer, because I think Black Hammer is God's gift to mankind. What is the biggest misconception of people who read comic books? That they're just for nerds. That they have to have superheroes in them. What would be the number one comic you would suggest to someone who doesn't read comic books? I would say Southern Bastards, one, or Deadly Class, two. Well, I'd ask them what they like first, and then gauge off of there, which I've done a bunch. But one of the easiest probably would be Saga. You know, I've heard people say that it's like Star Wars meets Game of Thrones. I don't know what Game of Thrones is, but I'm assuming they're the same. <laughs> I know, I know what it is, I've never seen it. I'm assuming they say that because it's brutal and there's lots of sex, and I guess Game of Thrones has that as well. But it also has like Romeo and Juliet thing to it. I like it. And look at this. The first page is a chameleon next to a guy in a suit. And that's why you read it, because literally every issue, you're just like, what is going on? But then it all makes sense. Are you sweating? I'm sweating. It is so fucking hot. It is very hot. You see that? That's an article written by me. Remember, Remember Rob Moston? He's the developer of a small robot story and also one of the main founders of the Rock Game Dev community. I interviewed him many moons ago in a video around when I first started my channel. Well, the star is aligned and I got the opportunity to write a big old news story about him, the Rock Game Dev community, a bunch of other developers that are part of it, and uh, it's in a paper here in Rochester. If you're not here in town, you can read it online, however, and a link to that story will be in the description and all that jazz. Um, also, if you recall, I think maybe two or three weeks ago, I made a vlog about working from home. I was able to persuade my job to let me work from home this week so I could finish a giant project that I have to do for them. That is in context of something that came out yesterday, Thursday, which is the Art Work Video Series, a series about local artists in the Rochester community of all mediums that are making an impact on it some way, shape, or form. And the first episode started yesterday, so if you're curious what I was working so diligently at, that's it. A link to that will be in the description. On top of all that jibber jabber, I also put up my first video review of the game Journey Down Chapter 3. If you're into adventure games or care about that, you know, skibbity bop, shoe wop wop, you can watch that video. A link to it may or may not be in the description. And then, of course, I had to make a video for this Friday. So, if you can't tell, I'm growing a beard. Uh, there's bags under my eyes. I'm an old man. I'm sick. 
So I sound like a congested Matthew Broderick, but so it goes. So this is video might be a little um, abrupt or short from other ones, and if that upsets any of you, I'm, I don't care. Um, but I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. With that said, please go and indulge in everything that I'm, I've made and put out for people to digest and criticize and love. Um, it would mean the world to me if you considered looking at it. That's it for this week. Thank you everyone for tuning in, coming back, saying kind things, or thinking kind things about me, or awful things, either way you're thinking about me. How you doing? Until next time. Bye.